dramatic video released today shows the moments before and after a man is shot and killed by police in Lansing. Experts tonight saying he was an active threat. It's our top story at 11. Thank you for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. Lansing police released video and photos from a shooting last week that killed 35-year-old Nicholas Miko. Josh Sanchez caught up with Michigan State University criminal justice professor who reviewed the video and is here with his reaction to it. Josh? On, it's been a year since Lansing Police and Michigan State. It's been a week since Lansing Police and Michigan State Police shut down a portion of Aurelius Road on the south side of Lansing for an officer involved shooting. During the days that followed, investigators collected evidence around Wayne Street and Irene Court. That evidence is part of a state investigation, and today, Lansing Police shared video from that evening. On January 5th, around 5 p.m., dispatchers got 911 calls about a person with a gun on the 2000 block of Irene Court in Lansing. Get inside your house and shut and lock the door. Please, please. Don't open the door. He's shooting. Yep. In the video, officers armed with rifles take cover and try to find where the gunshots were coming from. Lansing Police Chief Ellery Sosby says the group of state police troopers and one Lansing police officer moved towards the shots. Moments after that, 35-year-old Nicholas Miko was seen walking down the road. Video then shows officers ordering Miko several times to put his hands up as he jogs towards them. He then reaches down to his waist and points what police say was a handgun at the officers while they tell him to stop. Hey, don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it. Criminal Justice Professor David Carter says while the video can be hard to see, police reaction, 911 calls, and gunshots help piece together what happened at the scene. What you can't see on the body cam, from at least in detail, at least I couldn't on the, on the video, I pick up on other visual and audio cues that that tell me that this was indeed a, a, a threatening situation. Lansing police say Miko got medical attention after the shooting and released a picture which shows a gun on the ground next to him. With the shooting being called an active shooter situation by police, Carter says the focus was to keep people alive. Because you're protecting the lives of the community members, you're protecting the lives of the officers, uh, and then you hope to protect the life of the shooter. He says opting to release the video can help build trust with the public. Because you need to have that community education, that, that communications. We did reach out to Miko's family and friends, but have yet to hear back. Michigan State Police say three troopers are on paid administrative leave as the agency investigates the shooting. Lansing Police say Officer James Zolnai is also on paid leave. Back to you. Thank you, Josh. Six News is also 